This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2001 Dodge Ram 2500. That's a three-quarter ton uh, quad cab, which is a four-door extra cab in Dodge Talk. It's a long bed. Uh, it's a Laramie SLT. This truck has 137,265 miles. It's a two-wheel drive, 5.9 liter Cummins turbo diesel. Um, it was purchased directly from a uh, new car dealer here in Tucson. They took it in on trade. They can't resell anything on their used car dealership with over 100,000 miles or over 10 years. They can't get financing on those vehicles for their used car buyers. So we buy all the good ones. I believe this was Larry Miller Group took this one in. Um, anyway, it's a beautiful truck. Uh, we get them here. We do uh, an inspection. The inspection looks like this. It's a little windy, because I'm, so I'm doing this with uh, earphones today, as you can see. A little wind. Um, let me uh, read you what uh, what we've done with this guy. Let's see. It uh, first of all, it's got a auto mine Banks tuner and a Banks exhaust brake. Um, we did a in our recon. We discovered that it needed a uh, factory fuel pump upgrade kit. I guess that's uh, they're notorious for that, and they have an upgrade kit. So we did that. Uh, we did a fuel filter. We did both inside door release cables for both inside rear doors. Um, and both front ABS sensors are new. Um, other than that, fantastic truck. Um, I'm gonna walk around, I'm gonna show you what's going on. My brother will take this thing out for probably 60 to 80 HD pictures. In that gallery, uh, you will be able to, uh, you'll see a little magnifying glass. If you see something that you wanna see up close, click on it. It'll zoom right in on whatever you wanna look at. Um, please use that. These are the tires it came with. So somebody spent some money on a brand new set of tires right before they traded it in. Generally, when you've got a vehicle in this good a condition, that means they were driving by the Dodge dealer and saw something they had to have. And unfortunately, they just bought a set of tires. Good for us, good for you, not good for him. <laughs> so uh, that's, uh, that's to our advantage, which is really good. Anyway, look at the pictures. I'll point at stuff I see, okay? Um, but uh, please look at every picture, zoom in. Make sure that you're informed, you know, if cosmetics mean something to you. Uh, sometimes it doesn't matter, anything, especially on diesel trucks, a lot of people don't care. But the minute I don't point out or something or say something that, or miss something, I'll get yelled at. So please look at every picture um, carefully. You know, the purpose of these videos is not to uh, sell this truck. It's to get the right buyer for it. Um, plenty of people will see this truck. We'll be able to sell this truck many times over. But the key is to buy to, to make sure that the right person has the right amount of information um, and they know what they're buying so that there's no surprises, if, especially if you're going to ship. If you're going to buy it and ship it, it's critical that we give you really good information and uh, that uh, you're an informed buyer. Uh, that way everyone's happy, no surprises, no drama, nothing, okay? Scratch right there. Bumper looks great. Bumper looks almost too good. I think he probably replaced this bumper at some point recently. We didn't do that, but based on my uh, experience, that bumper is just a little too straight for a for a truck. That box is exactly that deep and that big. Uh, lots of tools will fit in that thing. Obviously. A, tube of uh, Dodge Blue touch-up paint would go a long way here. There will be pictures of the undercarriage in the ad also, but uh, people like me to do this also. Alright. A couple little door dings here. Looks like this door might have been painted at one time. It's pretty good paintwork, but like I said, it's my job to uh, point this stuff out so that there's no surprises. And honestly, nobody's gonna care on this truck about that stuff. Generally, they don't care. 137, 326 are the miles. Kelly Blue Book, this is something we've been doing lately. Give you guys the Kelly on it. Long bed, uh, typical asking price of $13,778. Two wheel drive, 
uh, six cylinder turbo. There's the uh, stuff I booked it in with. So there you go. All right, let's see, I'm gonna open up the hood. By the way, that's the uh, exhaust brake switch right there, I believe. I think that's what he said, yeah, right there. Everything's where it belongs. Exhaust brake. That's very nice. No blow by at all. There's some cables. It had a really nice system in it. Here's the deal. It's got a DVD uh, screen up front and it's got a DVD deck here that plays CDs and DVDs. We can't get the DVD player to work on either one. We can get volume, but not, not DVDs. So assume it's broken, but there's some wiring stuff. I don't know. We, we're not stereo dealers. Uh, we're car dealers. So if, uh, if you want it to work, take it to Best Buy if you care. I know that it works as a, as a uh, CD player and a radio, so that's what we're selling right now. If you uh, want uh, the DVD to work, I would imagine based on the condition of this truck that it works just fine, um, but we just uh, aren't going to wander around trying to attach cables and figure this thing out. So we're telling you it's broken, okay? <laughs> And that way, no one will be angry. See, I think he had a bunch of amps and stuff in here. He probably took them out when he sold it. We left those wires there in case somebody wants to put it back together or deal with it. You know? It's better to give you the option than it is just to take it out and assume you don't. And then you'll ine inevitably want it. And we won't take it out, so we just leave it there. All right? But I have heard the volume for movies play. So for some reason, we think it's in the deck, but it might not be. I don't know. Let's see, what else? Eh, I think, oh, this is the lumbar. There it goes. That works. All right, then we have, let's see, volume controls back here. Tilt wheel, that's up. There you go, that's up. And then that's down, there you go. Got the gauges here. Let's see, step, 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 blah, blah, blah. There you go. Oh, that's where the garage door opener goes, right? All right, let me get a seatbelt on. All right, let's see. What else we got? Air conditioning. It's about 87 right now in uh, Tucson. And that is blowing cold. That works fine. Boom, turn it up a little bit because I'm a little warm. All right, let's see, we got cruise control. Here's cruise on and off, on and off. Tilt this wheel down a little bit more. There we go. There's your overdrive, off and on. Boom, okay. All right, let's go for a ride. Like I said, this truck uh, does have a uh, auto mine Banks tune. Saw the Banks stuff and a Banks exhaust bra brake. It's a really pretty truck. Come to Tucson and drive it home, you're going to pay tax and dock fees. Dock fee is $250. Tax is 2% city sales tax plus whatever your state tax rate is. Very simple math. If you come here to drive it home, you're going to pay your tax rate in your state 
plus our 2% tax, plus $250 dock fee. If you pay by wire and ship, all you're going to pay is the agreed upon price. That's it. Once we receive the wire, uh, we will fill out the title in your name or your company's name and address, and we will mail it to you. We will uh, scan in the notarized title into your online file, so you'll be able to see it before it even hits the mail. We'll even scan in the envelope we mail it in. Uh, obviously, once you have the truck shipped to you, you already have the title. You just take them both to motor vehicles and go get your own plates, and that's how it works when you ship. Very simple. Oh, this thing really runs good. Wow. And I wish that guy wasn't there. Let's see. Uh, but, but deposit. Deposit is $500. Once we receive your deposit, we'll put your name in a banner over the truck at wheelconnects.com, and then you and everyone else will know that it's sold. Okay? Until then, it is for sale. We do not hold vehicles for people to make their minds up and just sit on them. Uh, used to do that. Very bad idea. Uh, we don't do that anymore. We won't do that for a grandma. Okay? <laughs> so, uh, blah, blah, blah. What else? Warranty speech. It's a... 15 year old truck with 137,000 miles on it. Dodge gave it X amount of mile warranty and X amount of year warranty. It's way, way, way past both of those. If they could have given it a 25 year, 300,000 mile warranty, they would have. They didn't for a reason. The reason being they didn't know what would happen after that many miles or that many years. If they did, they would have given it a longer warranty if it was good, right? <laughs> so basically, what we're saying is we don't know more than the people who built it. We're very good at these. A zero blow by clearly this truck was well taken care of the few issues it had when we got it we took care of but it doesn't mean that the day you get it it won't need something it could break and then you're gonna have to get it fixed and we're not writing checks okay so if you're risk averse and you don't like the fact that you you know that there's some risk please don't buy from us okay wow look at this thing go and the guy right in front of me again Anyway, runs great. Beautiful truck. Um, but please, please make sure, you know, nothing in our inventory uh, has a label on it of perfect. Everything in our inventory can break, and it could break tomorrow. Or it could break right now. All right? Um, if we knew what was going to happen to every vehicle that we bought, and it, it, if we knew that something was going to break the next day, we wouldn't buy it. Um, that would make us the best car buyers in the world. We're not the best car, car buyers in the world, but we are very brutally honest, and that works out really well for us. We sleep really well, and we sell cars to people who deal in reality. If you're one of those people who needs this thing to show up and not break the day you get it, uh, don't buy this truck, because we can't tell you that, okay? We uh, love this truck. It's obviously a good truck, but, you know, at some point, something's going to break, and it could be tomorrow, okay? Uh, that being said, I really doubt it, but you know, we just make sure that people understand what they're buying and that they are not buying perfection. Yeah, boy, this thing's a pretty sweet truck, though, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> uh, I've just got done driving an 04 F350 that I just did a video for with 20,000 miles. This thing runs just as good as it. That's a beautiful truck, too, but. This is pretty sweet. Anyway, uh, please make sure you check all the pictures out. Uh, if you don't know anything about Dodge or diesel in general, you know it's a good idea to ask somebody about it so that there's no confusion, so you know what you're buying. Uh, surprises suck, okay? Um, there's plenty of people who are going to be all over this truck, so please make sure that if we have a deal, you get your deposit in, okay? Anyway, thank you for your time.